So you made a sculpt with millions of polygons, aka a high poly model. If you import this to Blender, Maya or Unreal, your computer will go bye bye. Instead of using the high poly model, we need to create a low poly model with much less polygons. First, duplicate your model because you want to keep your high poly model so you can create a normal map or displacement map later. Let's call the new subtool low poly, for example. If you sculpted the model using symmetry, you can activate symmetry before C remeshing so your low poly model also becomes symmetrical. Go down to Geometry, C Remesher, and set the target polygons count to the number of polygons you wish to aim for. If you want the low poly model to be 4000 polygons, for example, you set this to 4 and hit C Remesher. Congrats, you now have a low poly model. If you want to lower the poly count further, you can change the number of target polygons count, or you can enable half and hit retry. ZBrush will now try to aim for half of the current poly count. And you now have a low poly looking like this. Adaptive size determines the layout of polygons. If you set this to a low number, you force the zero measure to keep the faces evenly sized. You can see now all the faces are the same size. The higher the adaptive size, the more freedom ZBrush will have to try and follow and maintain the shape of the model. You can see ZBrush will now add more polygons to maintain the details in the sculpt. So areas with details will then become denser. You can use the C Remesher guide brush to tell ZBrush where you want edge loops. For example, it's important to have clean edge loops around the eyes and the mouth on a character to make sure these areas deform properly when animated. If you get the C Remesher guide brush, B set R, you can draw two loops around where you want the edge loop to form. So one inner edge, one outer edge. Same for the mouth. And hit C Remesher. And you'll get some clean edge loops around these areas.